Okay, so I will first start with uh, what I think. Itachiwa, Anizaki Junichiro. The story of the tattooer reveals many of Tanizaki Sensei's standard themes. In this story, a tattooer derives dual gratification from his art. He takes pride in the images he creates on canvases of flesh, but also gains sadistic pleasure from inflicting with his needle. One day, the tattooer becomes obsessed with an extraordinarily beautiful young woman of whom he has only once had a partial glimpse. He encounters her five years later and convinces her that he should be allowed to create the greatest design upon her skin. Completion of this tattoo signals her symbolic conversion to a femme fatale, and the artist submissively becomes her first victim. Story the tattoo reveals many of Tanizaki Sensei's standard themes. So today, we'll see the theme of yearning or unattainable beauty in Tanizaki Sensei's work. The theme is often developed through the protagonist's quest. Of course, I won't be reading the full story, but I hope that the selections that I made would make you interested in reading the rest on your own. I avoided putting the ending, or too much of the ending here, so, well, just so you can understand it more, or be more surprised if you read it in the future yourself. So now we'll be going over what's on the screen. Deep in his heart, the young tattooer concealed a secret pleasure and a secret desire. His pleasure lay in the agony men felt as he drove his needles into them, torturing her swollen, blood-red flesh. And the louder they groaned, the keener was Seikichi's strained delight. Shading and vermilioning, these are said to be especially, especially painful for the technique he most enjoyed. Whenever a spineless man howled in torment or clenched his teeth, and twisted his mouth as if he were dying. Eikichi told him, Don't act like a child. Pull yourself together. You have hardly begun to feel my needles. And he would go on tattooing, as unperturbed as ever, with an occasional sidelong glance at the man's tearful face. There is a skip here. So that was towards the beginning of the story, and now we're moving on to something towards the end of the story. All my old fears have been swept away, and you are my first victim. She darted a glance at him, as bright as a sword. A song of triumph was ringing in her ears. See your tattoo once more, Seikichi begged. Silently, the girl nodded and slipped the kimono off her shoulders. Just then, her resplendently tattooed back caught a ray of sunlight, and the spider was wreathed in flames. 